Hey everyone and welcome back to Woo Woo Wednesday where I share my intuitive insight and weekly wisdom with you through the use of oracle cards. I'm Brittany Carmichael, the founder of Shine School and the Shine from the Inside Oracle and today I'll be pulling uh, some cards from two different decks. I'll be using the new, this is, well, new to me, it's Beyond Lemuria Oracle deck. And then of course I'll be pulling some cards from my Shine from the Inside Oracle. So I have been using both of these decks every morning in my own personal routine. So I thought I felt called to bring in this extra deck. I've also been playing a lot with my Isis Oracle cards. I'm like really in a powerful goddess mood right now. So I thought this would be fun. We were at the retreat and <laughs> as a joke, one of the girls said to another girl, where do you hail from? And she said, Lemuria. And she was like, wait, what is that? Is that a thing? Like, who just said that? I don't know who said that. It's like, dude, that's totally where I'm from. Like, you know, whether you're into that or not, I just, there was a deep soul connection. And when I found this Oracle deck, I thought, oh, this is perfect for me. And it's just a great tool for ancient wisdom to be remembered. So I'm gonna be pulling some cards from that. All right, if you're tuning in live, let me know by saying hello in the comments below. And I cannot wait to see what magic we have in store for today. All right, let's get this party started. Let me know if you're ready for me to pull some cards by saying I'm ready in the comments below and I will shuffle with both of these decks. Um, I think we're gonna start with Lemuria. Just gotta trust what feels good. All right, so this deck actually came from the Goddess Provisions box. I am obsessed with getting monthly moon boxes, so when this one came, I knew that like it was just meant to be because I was just reading um, books on this topic and trying to study more information. And so when it showed up in my Goddess Provisions box uh, a month or so ago, I was very excited about um, connecting and playing with these cards. So if you're someone who is interested in getting a monthly Goddess box, um, I have I have an affiliate code if you wanna sign up under mine. Uh, you can check it out by going to brittanycarmichael.com slash goddess box. All right, let's see what our message is from Lemuria. I'm ready, ready to do it up. Hello, girlfriend. It's so good to see you. How are you feeling after our reading last week? Oh, so good to see you. All right, let's see. What is our message for this week? What do we need to know? How can we level up? Do you guys feel the energy difference? Last week, I was a total... Okay, there's our card. Last week, I was a total mess. And this week... I feel so much better. So I'm wondering, oh, we've got two cards. I'm wondering if you guys feel the energy shift and change happening in the air in your neck of the woods. So take a moment to tune in, see how you feel. Take a moment to scan from the top of your head to the tips of your toes, noticing if there's any tension or tightness or anything that is stressing you out. Use your breath to breathe in light and as you exhale, let it go, let it melt away. And if you know a soul sister who would love this message, please tag them below and we're gonna get this party started. Okay, water, the overflow. This is from our Lemuria deck and you can see the artwork on the back, so beautiful. This says, the being in the picture has many hands and yet water falls through her fingers. It blesses her in the moments it touches her radiant skin and continues on its journey. Her heart is also overflowing with love. Her eyes are filled with tears. She gracefully allows what comes through to move her without control. Aligned with purpose, she is overjoyed to give from this limitless place and she radiates so much light into the world. Give from more of a place of overflow than obligation. Ooh, I'll say that again. Give more from a place of overflow than obligation. Even when we think we have nothing to give, coming from a mindset of overflow creates more of what we want. This is such an important topic to fill your cup up first. You know, they all, we all know the saying, you can't give from an empty cup, but we're not actually taking action to fill our cup. We're instead burning out or over giving or, or acting out of obligation. And that's ultimately what the whole seven or above rule that founded the Elevated Life Club was all about, it was about this idea, this philosophy of like, we should only be committing to the things that bring us joy, that give us joy. And on a scale of one to 10, how much does that light us up? And if the answer was less than a seven, we said no. And we did it without guilt. We did it because we knew that to stay aligned with our integrity, our mission, our purpose, the things that bring us joy, we have to have some kind of boundary and some kind of checks and balance. So I think this is a call for you to fill up your cup now before you start giving to everyone else. And we're here to be of service. I get that. But we can't be of service 
serve us if we have nothing to serve and we have to fill ourselves up first. All right, next card is ether. And this says, the seamless, unspeakable. This illuminated space of no distraction and pure potential is beyond the threshold. It is the centered and the present place where all dreams are birthed. From here, you can choose where to go. What may be perceived as endless nothingness, nothingness is the illuminated eternal. The core that all fears may be peeled back to. Step through the darkness and realize it is only a short distance from the white void at the center of creation. Herein lies the feeling that you may have been striving to meet, yet subconsciously running from. In graceful surrender, know you are held and drop deeper into existence. Ooh, such deep, powerful messages from the Lumeria Oracle. Oh my gosh, that is just a reminder, like you're here. All you have to do is be. You don't have to try, you don't have to strive, you don't have to work your little tail off to the bone because at the end of the day, if you're not appreciating yourself and if you're not happy with the work that you're doing, then everything that you're trying to um, suck the life source out of to get approval or worth or validation or confidence or love or whatever you're looking for is, is going to be an endless search, an endless journey. And what this card is reminding you is that you already have it. You just have to stop searching so hard and start discovering there's a difference. When we're searching for something, we feel like something's missing. When we're discovering something, we have a curiosity to see what's already there. So it's important for us to discover who we truly are and what makes us tick, what brings us joy, what makes us come alive, what makes us shine. I mean, it talks about basically like having that illumination from within and that's exactly what shine from the inside means. So I'm gonna pull a card from the shine from the inside since we had two from there and they were deep. I'm just gonna pull one. Oh, hey. <laughs> And I have a hat on today. So speaking of this hat, I see some of your comments. This hat was custom created by my friend Monica Slate. You can check her out over on Instagram at Slate Hair Artistry. What's so cool is that I love coaching woo-woo hairstylists. You know, they say niche down and like when I started this journey, I didn't know tarot reading would be a part of it, mediumship, working with woo-woo hairstylists. Like I never knew that it would all come full circle and I, you know, here we are, we found our little niche and it's woo-woo hairdressers. And I'm not to say that if you're watching and you're a hair, if you're not a hairdresser, you're not meant to be here. But the truth is I've attracted so many of them because that's what I am. And I didn't know it until I started showing up online and sharing the like little rituals and the little magic and the behind the scenes that I do in my personal life that makes all the difference in my business life at the hair salon, whether it be online or in behind the chair. So it's really, really cool to connect with other woo-woo hairdresser, creative type women because she custom created this and it literally has my entire zodiac on it. It has my um, moon sign and rising sign within this like little crescent moon situation. She has these awesome little pins that say magic world. She's got one from hair love retreat. So a little um, homage to our hair world. And then in the back, she even pulled a crystal from one of our uh, mutual friends, Coven Collective. She uh, provided the crystal necklaces for the goddesses at the last retreat. So it's just so cool how all these little bits and pieces come together. We're all connected. There's so much magic that she put into this hat. So I just want to give a huge shout out to Monica Slate at Slate Hair Artistry for creating this amazing custom hat. I mean, we even have crystals painted on the inside. Get out of here. So cool. All right. I'm going to do one more card from the Shine from the Inside Oracle to complete this week's Woo Woo Wednesday Wisdom. And I am just so excited. Woo. Two cards. <laughs> just kidding. I like to think that we're just going to pull one and then two always come up. So, all right. The first one came up is your soul whispers love, your ego shouts fear. This is, this, this is saying it's time to get quiet. It's time to listen to the subtle difference between your intuition, which is a gentle whisper of love and encouragement and like, ooh, wouldn't that be cool if you tried this? Whereas your fear and your ego are usually a, a hardcore like... <sighs> you're not gonna ever do this. I can't believe you think that's possible. That's the difference between how your soul sounds and what your ego feels like. So it's important to pay attention to the subtle differences. And once you get really good at having the awareness of what's going on in your internal dialogue, you'll start to understand that those sources of communication come from different parts of your body. So whereas your ego might be like screaming in the middle of your brain, like, oh my God, you're so dumb. Your soul might just whisper and like give you this like little heart flutter in your chest of like, ooh, that feels like 
expansive and like it's calling me to step forward. And so it's really important for you to pay attention to where do those voices and where do those sounds resonate from within your body. And the next card is write down your goals and dream big. This is so important. Last night we kicked off my Manifest Your Dreams Mastermind um, with the girls that came to the Goddess Retreat. We decided um, after the Goddess Retreat, what better way than to team up and like put your brain power together than with women coming to heal and like activate their goddess power. So we opened up the doors to the Manifest Your Dreams Mastermind, which I haven't done in years, but I thought it was time to resurrect it and make it happen. So last night was our first call and then the first thing I'm like you guys want to know how I run multiple successful six plus figure businesses let me tell you my secret I clicked share screen flipped it around and it was nothing but my Google Calendar and Asana which is a a project task manager it's totally free you have a free app on the phone you can do it on your desktop and those are the two main things that I use to run my business to stay accountable to task it out to get it out of my brain you know the most important thing is to brain dump all your ideas then sort them out into categories and then give yourself like a timeline of realistic expectation because most people have a million ideas and like two hours of extra free time in their week once they map out their week and to and see like how do I get this done? And we have to be real clear on where we're spending our time. And so getting control of your calendar is the first lesson taught. It's the first lesson I teach in Shine School. It's the first lesson I teach in my coaching program. So this is the first lesson. So I'm giving you guys very expensive information for free today. So pay attention. If you don't own your calendar, have fun letting the tides of life pull you it which in every way and yes there is such thing as going with the flow but you've got to have focused flow and control otherwise you get distracted by this person needs your help and this person wants you to move and this person's got this going on and if you're a people pleaser and you haven't developed that freaking confidence to say no and to set boundaries you'll end up saying yes to so many things that distract you from the goals that you have that you're going after so focus focus, focus, and get control of your calendar. Write down all of your ideas. I will share this. You are 42% more likely to achieve the goals that you write down. So it's important to have like some kind of dream journal or a dream book to really write out all of those ideas that keep coming to you. If you're anything like me, you have ideas every two seconds. You're like, oh shit, that would be a good idea. That would be fun. I need to write this down. So write it down in a book, get it on a planner, get it on a like a sauna, get it in some kind of task manager. Trello is another one that people use in business, but but for me, I love Asana because when you click that you've done a task, it shoots a little rainbow like unicorn type thing across the screen and it just makes me feel really good. <laughs> um, I pulled that card this morning and I decided to write my goals down for work. Crazy, it was pulled again. Well. Sparkle magic to you, sister, for actually taking action and following through on the card that you pulled. It's so cool to hear how each one of you use these cards in your daily life and routine, but what's even more important is when you take action on it. It's all about the action. We can have a million ideas, but that's just it. They're dreams if they just stay in your head, but you can manifest it into reality when you start taking action. Um, okay, anything else? The one that has the hat on. I'm not sure. Um, oh, that was the first card I pulled today. Oh yeah, yeah, the shine from the inside card. Yeah, that's so awesome. I'm feeling so empowered this week. You guys are freaking amazing. Um, give me all the abundance. Uh, Redkin hair color specialist, whoop whoop, sending love to you. Currently listening to woo woo whilst to rest before bed. Oh my goodness, it's so good to see all the different women from all over the world. This has been so much fun tuning in. Today on Woo Wednesday, we pulled some cards from the Lumeria Oracle and we've got some cards from the shine from the inside listen to your intuition say goodbye to your fear say break up with your fear and say hello to your soul because it feels so much better when you're following that intuitive guidance that nudges you forward rather than holds you back and the other thing I'm, I think the biggest lesson takeaway from today in my opinion was to own your calendar write down your dreams get it out of your head get it onto paper and it can start to like take action because we all know getting started is the hardest part about momentum. Um, love hearing your cards. Thank you so much, Melody. It's so good to see each and every one of you here. If you know a soul sister who would love this message, please tag them below, share the video. You know what to do to spread the good vibes, and I will be with you guys next week. Now, I will say, next Friday, finally, it's coming. <laughs> 
mark your calendar. We are moving the Elevated Life podcast to Fridays. We're going back to our original Friday because it just feels good. We want to be with you guys on a day of celebration. Chris and I always loved Friday. It felt like we were getting out of school and we were free. And so it just feels like Fridays are more fun. And so we are moving the Elevated Life to Fridays and season two will be dropping next Friday. I think it's the 28th and we are so excited. It was it was much needed for us to take a break from the podcast, but we have collected ourselves, we have clarity, and now we have moved through the grief of the passing of my dad. And so it just, you know, things are lighter, things are on the up and up over here, and we're so excited to be um, back on the podcast with you guys. So you'll be, to be looking out for the podcast next Friday, and Chris and I, filmed five YouTube videos for The Elevated Live for you guys. So we've missed doing videos. We used to show up live every Friday for like four years until we started the membership club and really focused on helping our elevators take it to the next level inside the membership club. But now we are back. We've got some videos coming your way and we are so excited for all the fun magic that is up and coming. So thank you so much for all of your love. Thank you for your support. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.